Well, I'll start a recording because I know full well I'm going to blow you up with this. Fucking Garfield Cartman. Oh, patch notes! I'm not reading them. The options. Is there a way that I can delete my save file? Probably not. Pilgrimage. Oh, I can delete it. I played it for 22 minutes. Delete because I don't want it. Don't play on easy. There is no difficulty choice. That's like saying play Dark Souls on easy. Uh, I can't. There is no difficulty. It's just it's either hard or it's easy. And knowing me, it's going to be the easiest game in the world. I claim the greatest miracle. Make my chest hurt with regret. <laughs> Fought your punishment and nail it deep. Shake my guilt once again. Rip. See, this is why you don't follow religion. Because you get morons like this. And thus, guilt, repentance, mourning, and every pain of the soul of all kind were visibly and tangibly manifested everywhere and in all of us. Sometimes in the form of blessing and grace. Sometime in the form of punishment and corruption. That divine will, equally pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called the miracle. Thanks, Noma. I appreciate it. Hey, that's funny. Thanks for what you posted in the Discord. First time to consume one of your biliary flasks. In the core of vitality, these consecrated flasks are refilled by kneeling in a pre dieu pre dieu pre dieu whatever. Find empty vessels to increase the amount you can carry. Okay, dog tools. Any indie games are inspiring you to make your own game, maybe. I'm way ahead of you, but I never will.
I win. First enemy or boss, yep. And I did it without taking a single point of damage. That's, that's not going to happen for the rest of the game, I guarantee you. Sneak off your cart with harder. So far, you're not wrong. But that's only because I beat that boss the other day, when I wanted to just play for a little while. So I already knew what his attacks were, which are just those two. It's just leap, slam, and then slam. Which you just use to dodge by sliding. You need key to the chamber of the oldest brother to open this door. Regretful be the heart, penitent one. The anguish of the eldest brother has now come to an end. I am Deo Gracias, witness to and narrator of the acts of the grievous miracle. Such is my penance, as yours is silence. The cradle of affliction is what you seek. <laughs> This can be found in the mother of mothers of the churches. It is a remote place separated from the rest of these lands by a great sacred and forbidden door. Even a wise penitent like me knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls. However, what I do know is that According to the rule, one must carry out the three humiliations to gain access to what they guard. One of them must be performed in the high mountains, covered in thick blankets of snow and ice. Another in the depths of a dull, entombed church where the sleeper lies. And the last one, at the end of the trail, carved by moans that claw their way out of an iron spiral in the bowels of the bell named Honda that grows into the earth. Take this thorn and place it on the handle of your sword. If, when the time comes, as you grip your weapon firmly, you notice that it wounds you and makes you bleed, having grown with more thorns yep. sprouting yes. from it, writhing over the figure of the father carved you into the everything knob. down. That will mean that you also, I always grip my weapon firmly, miracle. and I usually Force bleed. Punishment or its forgiveness. Particularly, I don't see found so far in your inventory. That. Look, there's a thing there, because I've got to go back that way later. Oh, yeah, and the one thing that I really like about this game is you can pinpoint as many sodding markers as you want. That's the one thing that I really like about this, because I... When, when you play a Metroidvania game like this and say that there's a collectible here, and you can't pinpoint it on the map, you will inevitably forget it exists. Like, there are 38 babies to find, and so I can use this icon that I'm currently pinpointing to just drop it down. If I can't get it, then I know that's there and I can maybe get it later. That's the one thing that I like about this game, is that it gives you an infinite amount of markers.
We have acquired Verdiales of the Forsaken Hamlet. Oh, yeah, it's magic. You like that up there. I can't get that unless I assume the double jump. So. Just place that there so I know what it is. Press RT and square in the air to ascend after hitting an enemy. You can do this up to two times before landing. Six babies. Or thirty eight. There is no answer to our plea. The miracle has forsaken us, and my ornate throne turns its back on those. Sorrowful be the heart, penitent one. Welcome to Albero, sanctuary to this humble brotherhood of the kissers of wounds. Few remain here who can still employ it. But Tirso is my name. There are few of us who still care for the sick and ailing. With devout kisses, we bless the wounds of those who seek our protection. Thus, both we and they remain at the mercy of the miracle. Time outside these walls passes by strangely. In sundowns, we need not mm. contemplate. But if your penance happens to carry you under set skies, be so kind as to bring us some ingredients for our ointments. The will in the miracle shall show you which ones they are. And you'd think that was a side quest, but there's no obvious button that I can press to look up to look that up, so Oh yeah the rosary bead upgrades. Four damage that I know of, I'd assume not. And this is the special baby room. Which I assume getting them all unlocks this door. Oh, 
At least I think it's the baby room. Virtue of Mea Culpa hath ascended. Visit Mea Culpa's shrines to increase the power of your sword. You can also spend Tears of Atonement to unlock combat techniques. Visit additional shrines and increase Mea Culpa's strength to access more powerful techniques. I don't think I can. So I'll just mark it with a baby icon. Inevitably. Secret.
Okay. Excuse me, continue to do 3D modeling, 2D sprite modeling, 3D modeling. Because if you've seen the axe that I made, it's easy. Because pixel art like this takes relative drawing skill to do something like this. Because one, you need to know how to draw. Whereas 3D modeling is going to be a little easier just because I suppose, because you have a 3D object that you're looking at and you can flip and turn and look in any way you want and design it however you want, it's easier to look around a viewport and go, hmm, that looks slightly off, or hmm, I'll change this here. But with 2D sprites, you need to know the form of how to do 3D in 2D and then turn it into sprite form, which is this. So, making a 2D drawing game would be easier than making a 2D sprite game. But I assume if you're more than... Okay, I can't slide through you. I assume if you're more than capable of... Okay, I assume if you're more than capable of drawing sprite stuff wouldn't take long to learn. Oh, shortcut. Two. But again, you might just be a really good drawer and you don't know it. You know, like, like you might do that and learn, oh, I can actually draw fairly decently. Like, it still takes some time to learn, but I can draw. Wrong button. Which was my drawing pad I got? Oh, nice. One of my Kratos. If you mean this thing, um, it was the not sponsored. It's the Huion Inspirori H110M, I want to say. I don't remember. And you can get it directly from their website if you want. Uh, oh no, it's H950P, sorry. H110M, idiot. Yes, yeah, the Huion Inspiroi H950P. That thing. If you want to just copy and paste that into Google. And... It is, even though it's in Great British... Oh no, it's $63. It is $63.99. on their official website. Do I recommend you get one? I mean, yes and also no. Because, like, I've got my life and any fucking 3D modeling in fucking months. So I suppose before you could potentially get one, just boot up Blender and see what you can do. And see if you find it fun or something you want to do. Because if not, there's no point spending $70 on a thing. Maybe. Do anything, pretty much on the drawing tablet, right? 2D, 3D, etc. Yep. 
Again, in terms of 3D stuff, you can still do it with a mouse. Great. My first death and it was because of fucking up wouldn't work. Lovely. What a death to have as well. Now I've got to go all the way back through that. Yeah, I know. I've got to go all the way back through that. Yeah. I, I held up, wouldn't jump on the um, ladder. Probably because I was like a pixel off from being able to hold on to it. My... my my first death and it has to be a fucking ladder. Oh no, it won't be. That would just be me being slightly off. No, no, I already marked that one earlier. Yeah, no, of course I don't remember, because this is your map. Whatever you place on your map will never be removed in the event you die. The only thing that this game isn't doing, like what Dark Souls would do, is it would steal all of your monies. And um, this didn't do that. Again, shall we? Sword Hearts, equip a Sword of Heart in Mayor Culpa to alter its properties, they grant powerful upgrades, but this comes at a price. Rest it to pray due to access the sword's core and insert a different heart. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, and that kills you? 
Kind of bullshit, but whatever. Unlocks two, maybe. No, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to assume it's the upgrade that I didn't get. And yeah, so they are the places telling me where I died. And I guess I need to pick them up because otherwise I get less monies. But no, there was an upgrade for. I want to say 1,500 or something. Or an upgrade that I can't get yet where I can throw um, a weapon. So, I'm gonna need that to be able to get the baby. Yeah, anything that I kill gets me no monies. I'm just gonna run past them as best I can. You still get some, but I guess it's limited. Press X when jumping against certain surfaces to push your sword into the wall, while hanging press A to jump or B to jump down. of any one of my favourites in this style. To be honest, I don't really remember many. Obviously there's Axiom Verge, now this. Um, Time Spinner was a good one. Time Spinner was a very good one. Yeah, but... Bloodstained is made by the same guy. So I don't necessarily count Bloodstained.
I wonder if there's any fast travel in this. If there isn't, that will be annoying. Here lies the door on whose bronze the ordeals of those chosen by the miracle are perpetuated. On it, for the art of these images to be worshipped and revered, ornamentation must take place. His sculpted holiness watches us, rigid, from on high. But it is the relief of the bronze that dictates who is worthy of passing under its adorned arch. Find the holy visages, and the bronze will know. For fickle are the wishes of the miracle. So, this is the way forwards later on in the game, I assume. And I've technically almost already done 10% of this game in 40 minutes. Which means this game is only 5 hours. No, I doubt that. I assume this game might be about 8 hours to do. I mean, I normally just look at the map, and obviously the map, if you if you 100% these games, the map just gives you a basic idea of roughly how far you're in. So I'm 9% of completing the map fully, but not necessarily having done everything. Assuming it gets rougher. True, but I don't think it will get rougher by like 30 hours, for an example. All my deaths so far have been me jumping off of things. That's all that my deaths have been. Just falling off into an abyss. Because this game's too easy that the only way that it can kill me is by having me kill myself. I am my own worst enemy. The question is, can I beat myself? I mean, I beat myself frequently, but... save point first before I start jumping down there and killing myself <gasps> who are you Simon Belmont sister of mine as I foretold you someone is heading towards the forbidden gate someone who seeks the purge and excommunication of all that is sacred and rests there no no do not place your doubts on me I am ready okay, do Oh, this is the guilt guy. Okay. Do the noted. Not that I have any guilt, mind you, but...
Yeah, there'll be a shortcut to go all the way around and then that might be a boss room which then brings us back or it'll be a side area to just fast travel back to you. can't make that. Because I think there's an upgrade to dash midair. Which will be the only way to pick that up. Benefits of having played a lot of bloody Metroidvanias. You see a thing and it's... I'm, I'm gonna do one of these four things. The only downside is I can't get any upgrades because there are none around here. There aren't. Because I need that room. But yeah, if I can fast, fast travel between places later, then that'll be pretty decent. Secret. I mean, not really a secret, but a secret. down here you okay here is the shock never mind that was a much shorter shortcut than I thought it was going to be. Really? You can hit my head? Dude, this is why you don't wear a giant ass pointy helmet. Because now my hitbox goes from here to up there. Idiot. Seguria to your eyes the sisters, I think I just said. Yeah, Seguria to your eyes like stars, sorry. 
Brief him to the night sky. Oh, that means it's an upgrade. What does it do? Didn't want to do that. Also, I'm just killing the mentors. Oh, what did that do? It may have increased my damage, but... Oh, increasing the speed of his attacks. Ew. That might actually not be that bad, but it also might not be that helpful. Oh, hello. Who are you? How are you gonna destroy me? Oh, he's whipping himself, lovely. As long as I stand here, he can't hit me. Idiot. Moron. Can't hit him. Baby. Well, you can't block mid here. I mean, I guess I could have gathered that, but... Cervical vertebrae of Zikta the Brewmaster. Ooh, another shortcut. This is why you always hit every every wall in any Metroidvania. You always hit it because it costs nothing, and you might on you might find a secret area. Small bead of red wax, tiny pebble of melted wax of a muted crimson. Prayers muttered in its presence slightly strengthen the vitality of the wearer. Mm -hmm. of the miracle penitent one do not be surprised to find this merchant here this ancient occupation requires me to be wherever I can obtain rewarding benefits call me Candelaria for what I sell would make your eyes light up like the high bonfires I will not ask you for any money whatsoever those forbidden tears you shed would be more than enough for me. Go ahead, cast your darkened eyes over these valuable treasures. Let us begin. What I am offering you here is as lustrous as the first star of the night. And may my eyes be blinded if I'm lying. Moss preserved in glass. Minute jar filled with moss. The tiny white flowers that shimmer inside can grant some protection against toxins. What I am offering you here, Empty tarnished sphere. There is no trace of na nacre, whatever, left, but it retains just a hint of bluish sheen. It creates fervor when destroying surrounding objects. And what is this key? Behold what I present to you. Trust me. 
Key to the chamber of the eldest brother. That takes me back that way. A forbidden key that was guarded by the eldest brother of the brotherhood, but was eventually lost, thus forever sealing the chamber it opened. Yes, please. Because I need that to open the door back that way. What I am offering. And may my... What I am off and may my Just so I know that there's treasure here, so I know that she's still got an item. Now comes the worst part to any fucking Souls game ever. Or even Metroid venues. You died. Run all the way fucking back. That is the only downside to this shit.
I move. Empty bottle vessel. Vessel made of crystal and gold capable of holding the hallowed bottle that emanates from the morning fountains. Woo. Have I been entrusted with watching over you, penitent one? Thus it has been arranged. My name is Viridiana. I have been granted a gift with which I can assist you in carrying your burden if required. But only you can make that choice. Penitent one in silence, will you require my assistance with your next task? I don't know who you are, so I'm going to look you up. Oh, she helps in the boss fights. Yes, it's cheating, but no. So basically, I can have her assist me in the boss fights. Each time you... She can only assist you three times. Because she gets increasingly older every time you use her. So for now, she's fine. Then she's older. Then she's essentially a grandma. And then she dies. So, but she can help you in three of like five boss fights. Five, yeah. So she can help you in one of... Three or five boss fights. If you don't assist her, she stays young and she still gives you her item at the end of the game that she would normally give you should you ask for her assistance when she dies. Only problem, the, there's an achievement tied to having her help and her dying. But no. Here I shall remain. Because I would sooner attempt a boss fight at least once before asking for assistance. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. I wish it was the other way around, you know? Like, if you don't ever ask for her assistance, then you get an achievement. Now, that makes more sense than getting the achievement for killing her. It's a giant tree goat thing. Oh, 
Oh my god. Also, do I really have to keep watching this? That's annoying. I mean, yeah, granted it does have a fucking spawn point directly outside the bloody boss point. Also, I wonder if I can block that. Bag. I need to go on the other side of you. Oh, yeah, I assume that would have gone longer. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I hope I don't need anime of this. No, we really don't. We don't need anime ruining things, thank you. Good try. No, not good try. I went in ham on him for no reason in the early fight. I know when he goes to crouch, I can just stand in front of him, jump, and just wail away. But when he does his foot thing, it's just run in one direction. Whereas what I was trying to do is, is run one way to force his attack to go in that direction, but then go backwards. You know, so whilst it's still going that way... Yeah, so basically my thought process was, he does the slam, and whichever side I'm on, it will go that way. So I was thinking I can do it, but run backwards, so as it's going that way, I can then wail away at him, but no, because it tracks where you are for each time he hits you with it. I would, however, like to get on the fucking other side of him, if you don't mind. Thank you. Thing I'm not liking is having to watch his fucking cutscene all the time. No, when he's going... So, I can't get on the other side of him unless he lifts his leg to do his stomp. Because obviously he's just a wall. Lift his leg, well now I can get through him.
Yo, mm -hmm. The problem is, when you're on one side of the room, if he doesn't ever do his foot attack, then you can't run to the other side. Or if he does his foot attack, and you're not close enough to run under it, or you're mean, you're an idiot. Garfield go. Oh, terribly. <laughs> Absolutely terribly. <laughs> I just like, may thou die in, thine in thine own blood, foul heathen. Take thine ball bag in thine throat.
There, it went terrible. <gasps> Am I in the past? Am I in the future? Am I in the... Talk to the man who's in the coffin thing? Oh, giant head. In the name of the great ordeal and the sons of the miracle, when you humbled yourself before my most holy body, you have been granted the presence of my golden visage, custodian of one of the three sorrows of the soul in penance. Our miracle has chosen me amongst all the peers. Just as it shows Aye. you to walk on this sacred sea, may the gold in my visage melt and erase the attrition of your soul. Heart of guilt, return now from the dream. Holy wound of attrition. Woo. Hello. Pierce. I know. It might be pronounced Pierce for all we know, but... I've only ever heard it as pious. Mark left by the golden visage that reveals the cleanliness of attrition in the soul of the penitent one. Which is me! Didn't want to do that. Oh, it's you. You have carried out the first humiliation of penance. You have met the visage of attrition. You have yet to prostrate before two last holy visages. Am I ever going to accept that woman's help or you'll just see how far the boss gets? Again, I'd prefer to do it without their help. You know, it's the same thing with Dark Souls, like... If you like, it's like if you tell me, oh, I beat Dark Souls in co-op with a friend who has like a billion hours, and I just sat in a corner and did nothing. Like, did you really beat Dark Souls? You know. Like, like, did you really beat it? Also, I assume this is a new area, right? Yeah, this is a new area. I don't want to go this way. I want to go back this way. Unless this loops up and around. Scaffold of Fierce the Leper. Then I want to go back because I want to fully explore that area first. Not usually a massive fan myself. Like I, when I go through areas, I want to make sure that it's, you know, that I've completely done everything that I possibly can. You know, before moving on, because then it at least gives me an idea of, oh, okay, I need to come back this way when I get this item, because I've now beaten the boss. Um, which means now, in theory, all of this is done, but I've still got to go this way, which I assume connects to here or to here. So I've still got this way to explore, if at all possible. Explore every nook and cranny, investigate every crevice and hole, yep. That's all I'm going to be during sex one day, is... Yep, there's a thing there. So I wonder if she's still here. Nope, she's gone. Yes, like I say, it, it, it's kind of strange giving the, you the achievement for killing her and making boss fights easier than it is to say no and let her stay healthy anyway. Like, it's kind of strange. Unless you get an achievement for doing both. Like, like it would be strange, you know. Like, design-wise, she's designed to exist to essentially sacrifice herself to help you, you know, do stuff. Um, oh, is this a warp gate? Nice. But yeah, you know, that would, that would make more sense, but... Or for doing it on your own seems common sense. I mean, yeah. 
again, the games like this, my thought process of what I just mentioned, like with Dark Souls, is if you want the sort of satisfaction of being able to beat a game like this, you want to do it on your own without any of the AI's help. The one thing I do like is if you don't ask for her help ever and you get to the final boss, she still gives you the item that she would normally if you follow her story where you kill her. So either way, you can't miss the item. That is good. That I do like. You know, it's not a unique item either way. It's the same item. It's just, do you want her to die or do you want her to not? Um, it's just that it sh there should be an achievement tied to no, her not dying. Oh, this is a warp gate. Pissy form of Hernandez the Explorer. Hernandez? Yeah, that's all that that exploration has done, because this will be a fast travel point that I can't use. But I wonder where it's going to warp gate me to, because it said it will warp gate me to Albero. <laughs> Unless it warp gates me here. So I can then go through this and I can warp gate backwards and forth. Again, only slightly annoying because comparatively, obviously compared to like the Castlevania games, is you almost always get a save room and a warp gate together, usually. Which means warping between places isn't usually that difficult. Whereas in this, it's very specifically... Oh no, it's next to here. Whereas in this game, it's very specifically choosing that I can only have one per, like, massive area. Bouquet of Thin. Bunch of aromatic herbs, common in the past amidst the cliffs of bronze borders. Today, however, their scarcity makes them increasingly valuable, especially for those who discern their healing abilities. Well, I have some Thin now. I know someone's gonna go, it's time, dickhead. It's fucking time. What, you an idiot? Yeah, there you go. Sacred technique that allows the bearer of Mayor Corp to use the cut of its blade to bless his own blood and turn it into a throwing weapon. So that's what I need. Oh yeah, these upgrades are kind of pointless. So at minimum, I just want the level 1 upgrades for everything. Because then it only upgrades them further to do new and more damaging things. So at minimum, I just want... Well, I mean, I want that because I need to save a baby. Um, but yeah, I just need to get everything at least once. So I'm not overly bothered about getting these at the minute. I'd sooner go back to that woman and buy that item. Uh, than getting... Sacred Thrust, hold, hold X while dodging. Which actually isn't that, that bad of a um, uh, 
thing when you think about it, because if I can dodge this way but then thrust backwards in the opposite direction, then this would be a decent item because obviously you can dodge, iframe an attack, and then just get hit in afterwards. So that won't be bad, but I would sooner get the item than I would that. And the item is here. Which is kind of a pain in the ass, which means I've got to warp here to go back up over in there to warp back around. I would say fast load times, but this isn't exactly the most graphically demanding game. Some to my PS4 I switch about 125 or more US dollars. That was your fault. Yep. Because it's limited run. You got a one-time chance to ever buy anything from them. If you miss it, tough shit. What you miss it forever. Let us be cap. Restocks, right? Nope, never. Very rarely, and there are some items on their um, website, um, but very rarely they'll do like a collaboration thing where it's we'll sell it because we're limited run and people know who we are, but oh, on. but 99% um, of their products are you've got like two months to order it. And that's it. Some games, and one of them that I was emailed about the other day, only had 24 hours to order it. I mean, it was a compilation of three games that I don't give a flying fuck about and I've never heard of. Looked them up and thought, eh. So, those games I'm not bothered about. Like that, 24-hour one. Um, but yeah. I like the Star Wars one. Again, the Star Wars one is nice, but again, it doesn't come with anything. The, because I already own the game, I'm not bothered about buying it for PS4 or Switch or anything. So it only the collector's edition of the Republic Commando game would then force me to buy it. Problem is, it doesn't come with anything that I really care about. Sure, I'd want that poster, but... $90 poster, not worth it. So...
Yeah, like, like a game like that, I'm not bothered about missing out on. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Oh, that's nudity. Give me a minute. I can't move me because it's lagging. There we go. No more nudity. Oh god, now I'm going to fucking reset this. Titties. Oh, she's on a period as well, lovely. Blessed are the eyes that with devotion see my Excuse me, you've got a few... Let the ones who are joyful in affliction and fasting come to me, for they are pleasant penance. Six sting pains lance my flowery breast. Take the first one Whoa. and purge one of your six mortal stains. Oh, no. Nice. Baps, I know. Pixelated baps. Maximum health has increased. I know, my maximum health just increased. I think we all just got maximum vitality for that. Oh. Oh, I think I might be starting to fall for hentai now. Gee, oh. Fucking hell. You're a man with a bell, right? <laughs> baby. Come here, baby. Come on, baby. Maybe so far. Yep, we've got 4 out of 38. Who the hell are you? And how are you gonna kill me? Gotta catch them all. You know I'm going to. Maybe that was a friendly. Then why did it let me hit it? But no, friendlies, I don't think you can attack, or at least I would assume you can't. Plus, it had a bell. You think I'm going to trust someone with a bell? Ways. Again, if that's how that worked in this game, I would be heavily pissed off right now. Because that means it would now be impossible for me to 100% in this game. I can't see. Spawned again, doesn't he? I mean, you can understand my surprise because I've never fucking done that. Oh, well, you're wrong because here he is guarding a chest. So he's not a seller. Empty bile vessel. Alright, now I've got two of them. No, I'm gonna die. Maybe you stole his shank when you could have paid him further. Not his fault then for making it too expensive.
How are you? And a Merry Christmas to you too. Some GT spot this morning. Nice. Do you want to turn around, mate? Talk from down with the camera, yes. Humorous of McMitten's the nurse. Well, we finally looped all the way around. We are now back here. Yeah, we obviously started here, went all the way around this way, down, around, over, and we've climbed up now. Which I'm going to assume also going this way will loop me up to go out here. Because this might be a dead end once I've done this boss fight, and then I'll go up here, which will then open up this door to continue going that way. I've also got the key to go back here too. I need to remember that. I don't remember where the hell it is, but I'll put a point there just so I remember something. Or I can do this one actually. I don't remember where that door was, but it was over there somewhere. Actually, it might have been here. I don't know. Cause my biggest worry is I'm gonna die. Finding every baby. Ah, uh, I'm gonna need a double jump. Refill empty berry vessel in exchange for 500. Oh, so those things that I found are the Estus flasks. Nice. So yeah, those two billary flasks I had were... So now I've got two more. Come on for that giant baby fight that will rip you apart if you die. I can. Um, I'm tempted to go backwards. I am, just slightly. Because I still need to explore here and through here. Well, 
now's the perfect time to run back through. So I've got no fucking choice. Don't I have an item to prevent toxins? Yeah. That grants some protection against toxins. Never mind. Can't go through here anyway, unless... Nope, that still hurts you. Well, there's going to be an item for that later. So never mind, can't even go that way anyway. Oh, it's the man selling his wares again. Oh, and this is the shortcut back to the woman with her wares. Oh, I want to jerk off to all these fucking shortcuts. I, I like well placed shortcuts, although I don't know why there's one here anyway, but I like shortcuts. So I guess I have to go up no matter what. Although I could from here walk back. Oh no, there's no point, I don't have any money. No, please don't hit me. Thank you. I know he did. Because that's the one thing with this game, again, say compared to like a Dark Souls game or even a Castlevania game. Once you kill enemies in an area, they never respawn until you die. Even if you sit at a bonfire, um, enemies will still um, never respawn. Which is actually kind of neat. And also slightly annoying just because you've got shit to buy, which means you need a lot of money, but if the game has been designed well, I won't need to worry about any of it. No, I'm gonna die. Fuck me. Jesus Christ, everything just went from bad to worse.
Okay, thanks, man. Bobby. Must save Bobby. Yeah, I definitely need a double jump for this. Um, Bobby. Well, how many babies is that now? One, two, three. Three that I know of. So I'm technically at seven. Oh, God. Oh, I'd really like a uh, save right about now. Yeah, I really need one. Or, if this gets me to here, then that'll be just as fine. Oh, this might actually be a warp point. Nope, this is a new area. With a man who is currently on fire. Oh no, if I get hit by the poison, I'm dead regardless. So now we found the new location. I'm not going in there. <laughs> Big giant empty room usually spells boss fight to me. Yeah. <coughs> and yet we're now back to Alberto. Oh no, this isn't the baby room, this is the bone room. So all of these that I'm finding... ...go into the bone room. Which then will either give me a stupidly hard boss fight... ...to fight, which then gives you a pretty decent upgrade or item. Yeah, I think because I'm here, I want to go back this way and go into the town to save the... Because... Oh, fuck me, it's 7 o'clock already. Because I don't want to go back to the beginning of the system all the way down here. When I can just spawn here, run through, and I'm down, and I'm exactly where I need to be, which is here. Merciful be, penitent one. 
With your contribution, the work of this brotherhood carries on. Ooh, linen. He uses swag that seems to slightly vibrate at times, emitting an unintelligible buzz. The affliction sometimes leaves its mark on mundane looking objects, unable to reveal the miracle under its mantle of corruption. Ooh. I traded some time. Oh god, what is this? Nope. This might be one of the DLCs, actually. Not even gonna go there. Because A, if it is, I'd sooner do it after I've beaten this game, and B, like I'm gonna be leveled to do that right now. So I will quickly Google the Blasphemous DLCs and see how you and get to them. to beat the game anyway. Yeah, I need to beat it and then I need to ascend the, um... Okay, so on this website, this person has a save file of 41 and a half hours. And 85% completion. What the fuck were you doing? For 42 hours to so far do this much. I assume there's a whole lot more stuff to do, but still, like, if the map indication is anything to go by, I'm in theory 20% done. And I'm only 2 hours in. How the fuck do you spend 42 hours in this? Oh, I might not do this DLC. Because I've got to play this game twice. You've got to play and beat the game, go into New Game Plus, and then find a guy, talk to him, he then appears at five points in the game, wherever the hell they are. And then each time you talk to him, you either then get a boss to fight straight away, or you talk to him to unlock a new boss fight. So there are five new bosses in the game, but I have to enable New Game Plus. Yeah, no thanks. So this is something that I can do, I suppose. But still, like, fuck that. Now, if you're going to add new bosses and stuff like that in, you either A, make it available from the beginning of the game, but obviously the bosses are going to be stupidly hard, so like realistically I'm never going to fight them. Or B, you obviously lock it off until you beat the game anyway. Because then once the game detects, oh you've beaten this boss and you're now in free roam mode pretty much. That's when it should be able to enable you to access that special part of the DLC. Yeah, if this is just a boss fight, I'm not going to be overly bothered. Two faces greet you, penitent one. My name is Nascimento. Look at my chest, upon which an ancient visage grows older and older. A face that does not speak, that does not think, while mine becomes younger, such that I now look like a child. Such a terrible sentence is this that I do not understand its purpose. 
No matter how much I reflect on the sin that I may have committed to deserve it, the grace of the miracle is present even in those who are punished. Perhaps I might reduce the magnitude of this sentence by helping you. Bring me the quicksilver, which is capable of flourishing under our feet in any place at the whim of the grievous one, and I will mix it with the bile from your flasks, thereby enhancing its gift. Well, so he improves my flasks. So I need a quicksilver. Uh, I need a f bile flask for a sacrifice, which is fine. And then I need a thousand tears of atonement. Well, I can't do anything till I get quicksilver Bring anyway. Quicksilver, which is rubbing eye or rubbing nipple? Why not both? Apparently there's a thing below me right here. Oh, I accidentally activated that. Oh, Charles. Anoint yourself with the oil of the pilgrims. Mm -hmm. Because this is the problem. Now I'm going to have to look this shit up because I don't want to activate anything that makes boss fights easier. Yeah, because that just gives you an extra magic meter. Maybe. Black Grievous Bale. Belkoth has kept it silk for you to spot. So that and that is for a quest to give to someone I assume five pappies for fuck's sake grabbing onto ladders is really obnoxious
I'm assuming that goes this way. So this was really... All of this was relatively pointless. Well, I'm not really excited to come through this way to even get here anyway. I guess I could always go up and try that door, but... I mean, before I do any of that kind of stuff, I may as well get three boss-like things for this door and then go through that one. Yeah, as of right now, there's nothing that I can do here. Why can't I hit this? I'm gonna place a question mark. Now get me out of there.
I mean, of course he was going to do that. Fucking boomeranged. What do boomerangs usually do? Come back. Oh no, Dracula. because this guy doesn't have any health I meant to not note them on. I was gonna say because this guy doesn't have an obvious health bar I'm supposed to die. Nope. Complete opposite actually I meant to kill him. Now oh, this is gonna blow chunks. Time to do this again. Oh, not. So I was meant to die. Kind of, probably. Oh no, I was meant to die. Traverse strange roads under the same firmament with nigh other trade, nigh other name. My name is Redento, barefoot pilgrim of the order of the genuflectors. Prithee, taketh nigh affront in my not looking at thy visage, for we at each moment lean forth so as not to divert our eyes from the path. Such is our old precept. We are before Honlo, the great buried bell, erected upside down so that its ringing would make the earth tremble and reach distant lands. Now Honlo resoundeth in a deep triune moan that traveleth in echoes through its broad spiraling circles. My feet wish to cross to the other side of this ancient valley to move on to the next destination. Oh, my sins! Who could help me? I halt here to look for a crossing to the other side, so as to continue my penitent. Penitent. Oh, I'm not gonna, gonna have to anyway. But I'm assuming I'm gonna travel all the way down and up. Oh, I'm now in Hondo. Yeah, I assume. There's a whole dungeon here inside a bell that then opens up over here, probably, that then creates a bridge. I'd assume. Oh, you do damage.
Again, I assume double jump. And there's no way that's going to be the way up because they die in one hit, so I'd never be able to... Okay, I'd never be able to get away with it. I wasn't even paying attention there. Fucking... No! Oh, damn it. Nice. Now I'm all the way back here. just for now and we'll continue this tomorrow obviously it's just I don't know how far or close I'm going to be to the next save point and there's no point me going all the way through all that crap just uh, um oh yeah die again and have to go back through it all is it not a save button I assume it auto saves but I'm not a massive fan of that yeah I'm assuming it'll auto save So, that's it for Blasphemous for today. But like I say, I will continue this tomorrow. Um, and like I say, if the map is any indication, I'm already a quarter, quarter of the way through it. Wink. In two hours. So there's a potentiality that I might actually get this done. I mean, it'd be funny if I got it done tomorrow. Because in theory, what would I need? Six hours? Yeah, in theory, I should get this done tomorrow. But um, I'm not bothered about as and when I get it done. I'll get it done when I get it done. But yeah, I'll also have a look at the um, two DLCs. Because as you can see there, DLC 2. And the uh, Miriam DLC from Bloodstained. I'll see how all, they all work and how you activate them. I know how you do one of them, which is New Game Plus. Which it seems to be New Game Plus and then play the game and just encounter new things, which... Yeah, I'm not bothered about. Because if you save DLC 2 and the Mirian DLC, we're like, oh, there's this area you can go to that sends you somewhere else. That is that DLC, then I'll do them. Um, but again, if they're just New Game Plus, oh, here's a thing and some enemies from Bloodstained or whatever, then I'll be less inclined because I don't really want to be going through New Game Plus just to attempt DLCs. Um, when I inevitably play this game again in the future, I will probably then do New Game Plus just so I can then play the DLCs. Um, but yeah, as of right now, if the DLCs are New Game Plus only, yeah, I'm not bothered about them. It's a shame, but I'm not too bothered. But yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed uh, Blasphemous. That's a pretty decent game. It's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I mean, to be honest, it is on the little easier side, but again, with it being a Castlevania game, like those games are pretty pretty hard but they're not hard hard um no for the most part you can get through these games relatively easily um again boss fights are the ones that you normally die to um and if there are save rooms directly outside of each boss room then i automatically have to have to give this game a 10 out of 10 because i hate playing dark souls and it's oh you die to a boss take five minutes to run back that way and die on the way there so at least this game will get a thumbs up from me. But uh, yeah, other than that, like I say, I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back tomorrow. So, and also I'll get um, 
post street ready for Titus since he wanted me to do that after this. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a happy Easter yourself, Chris. Don't gorge on too too many eggs, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Ta-ta. Peace. Good night.